Okay guys, this is the Antusi A6 bicycle alarm system with built-in tail light and attention bell. Um, I've made about five videos for this already and I keep getting interrupted. I tried to do it at work and uh, it was so loud that they told me to, to get out of there and take it home. So I had to put it away. I had several people come into my office. The thing is insanely loud. What I found out is that I've got it sitting down here on my bed right here. And so because of that, um, it, uh, it, it muffles it. So it's, it's actually not so loud that I'm going to disturb my neighbors here at home. But, um, it, but it's, it's, still, it's, still, it's still annoyingly loud. Uh, on the bike, it, it, won't be, it won't have the uh, bottom part muffled. And I'm sure that, you know, uh, you know a, th a, th a thief with uh, some shaving cream or something like that could subvert that by spraying it under there and muffling it. So, uh, you know, nothing is, is foolproof. But this is a pretty nice little bit of kit, I, I'll tell you. Um, the reason I picked this one out is because it just, it, 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 it looks so high quality as far as the, the engineering and the design. And, and uh, this little uh, remote here, I popped it out of there, doing it one-handed. It's actually it actually works pretty well it's got a nice little mount here it comes with a little rubber piece that sticks on there I haven't actually stuck it on there yet it's just setting in there but fits in there perfectly it's really well in, uh, I don't know if you could see that I kind of was looking at it without videotaping but it's really well engineered this little rubber piece the mount and everything and uh, so you can have this permanently mounted to your bike not really permanently but it, it sits on there in a zip ties so you can remove it without damaging the bike for the most part Maybe scratch, maybe the zip tie will scratch a little bit. I, I, I don't think, I'm not really worried about black plastic scratching my black handlebar on the zip tie, but that's what the zip tie looks like. There's two of them there. Um, and anyways, so this is pretty nice. When you first purchase it, it, it comes in backwards like that to protect the buttons, I suppose. But when you get it and you turn it around, it just clicks right into place. And it's, and it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting the way this works. Um, you can... Just click the bottom button there once, and that's your little bell. So it's it's not a bell sound. And to see if you watch this, make this a, a you know kind of more of a ding dong or something. Make this sound more like a bell rather than I don't know. It just sounds so harsh. Make it a little bit more friendly on that sound. Um, but but that is that. So this is mad on your handlebar, and you you're riding up behind somebody on the sidewalk, which you shouldn't be anyways. Right on the road, but in the event that you need to signal somebody. And there's nowhere else to ride. I guess if you're on the boardwalk on the beach and you're riding down the boardwalk and, you know, if you want to be a jerk. I don't know. There's really not a whole lot of reason to use a bell anyways in this day and age. But um, so who cares about that? I like the I like the, the, the this piece of equipment overall because I wanted it for the alarm. And I think the alarm works really good. Here's the, the next button up is for the tail light. Tail light has three modes. There's the first mode. It's fast blink. I, you know what? I would probably use the tail light. I don't know if you can hear this. You can't really hear it. it. I was worried that it was going to be bothersome, but you can't really hear that. It actually does make a really slight beeping noise, um, which I don't know if that's what that. It's so quiet you can't hear it. In my office, it seemed really annoying, but here it's not not a big deal. So it's going there. I don't like flashing lights personally. Um, there is a second mode here, which delays it um, quite a bit, and then you have your third mode which I thought turned it off at first, but it's a, just slightly more delayed. There's more of a delay when it engages for some reason, but anyways, there's a slighter delay. So if I am going to use the tail light, I'll use it in this, in this mode. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'll use the tail light just because I wish it would stay on continuously. I don't know. I might use it, but uh, Antusi, that's my next recommendation if you're listening to this. Give me a fourth mode here. Give me a continuous mode. You know, maybe it'll cost a little bit of battery power, but um, you know, I I, I I I don't care. I mean, at least give us the option. So there's that. Um, then you've got your alarm. So you press once to lock. Um, that's your lock button. It looks like a it looks like a car keychain. You know, um, it's very cool. It looks like you know, like a you know, like a Ford <laughs> Ford Escort keychain from 1997 or something I don't know but no it actually looks nicer than that but so the thing is locked right now 
Oh no, it's unlocked. I, I hit the unlock button, so one kind of long chime for unlock. Now, and it's also got a nice little blue LED here. So I clicked it, that top button there, and it locked it. I'll click it again. And it locks it. Now it counts down to five, four, three, two, one, and it gives you a beep. I'll, I'll do that again. And it gives you a beep. So it's about six seconds, I think, um, there. And what basically what that does is it gives you six seconds after you lock it to, to step away from your bike so you don't set the thing off. Once that Before that thing beeps, it won't go off if you bump it. Once that thing beeps to give your confirmation, uh, bumping that thing does give you um, that warning. Now... <clears throat> And it's, it's, you're not going to hear how loud it is through the phone, so don't worry about it. The thing is insanely loud. It's muffled here, and I recorded it early, un, earlier unmuffled on my phone, and then when I played it back, it just didn't do it justice. So I don't care if you can hear it, because you're just going to have to take my word for it. It's insanely loud. I was playing it here in my house, and uh, it was just it was driving people insane. So um, <clears throat> people are like, why do you have that thing? It's so loud, so annoying. They don't like it. Well, that's good, I think. That's what it's for. Um, once it's been bumped, I believe it uh, it waits five seconds before it can go off again. So let's say you're fiddling around with your remote and you bump it and it gives you a warning like it just did. Uh, you, you have five seconds to disarm it before it'll go off again. But now if you bump it, oh, okay, I guess it get, after a minute or so, it, uh, it it gives you another warning, but now it goes full blast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off. So you see that there uh, there's there's a couple of five second delays there, and I'm gonna lock it again. I'm gonna show you this after the first five seconds. One two three. Okay, it it gives your confirmation. Now if you bump it, it goes off. Now if you shake it, it doesn't do anything for that full five seconds. And then it goes off. So that's why it does that. And uh, there's a rhyme and a reason to it. And I initially thought that that meant it didn't work and it was broken. But the thing works. And uh, it uh, it actually is is a pretty nice pretty nice bit of kit. Um, and overall, I'm. I'm really happy with it. I'd recommend it. it I, I did a lot of research. This was the best looking one and the best reviewed one that I could find anywhere online. Now, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the other, the third recommendation, I only have three recommendations. I already gave you two of them. And to see if you're listening to this, the third recommendation is, you know what? I love the USB charge. That's awesome. Um, but, uh, you know... I guess I haven't actually played with the mount here, so maybe this. I guess there is a quick, there is a quick release mount. So the interesting thing is, you do have to unscrew it. There's a screw there that screws it to the quick release mount. So you do have to screw it in there. And I'm just wondering out loud if maybe a replaceable battery. But I guess there's really no way to make it easily replaceable and not make it easily defeatable. So it's screwed on there, so it takes somebody another couple, you know, another minute maybe or less, 30 seconds, to get it off the bike, and by then it would be going off. And so it, it's it's if somebody tries to mess with your stuff, this thing is going to go off. Um, but you know, it's just another layer of defense. That's why I got. I'm not going to go without using my U lock. Of course, I'm going to use my U lock. Um, but uh, this is just an extra layer of defense. So if they can get it off there and hold it like that, it, uh, it's greatly muffled. Uh, my, my last video got cut short there because I was so thrown off by the annoyingness of this noise that I uh, accidentally stopped the camera instead of stopping the alarm, but kind of got flustered. But anyways... Uh, if somebody wants your bike bad enough, they're going to get it no matter what. This is just another layer of protection. All in all, I, I can't see anything out there that's even close to how cool this is. The cool factor on this is nice. And to see you got my two suggestions there. 
Um, please give us a full-on backlight without a beep, full-on taillight without a beep, a fourth option for that. And uh, give us a better sound for the bell. You know, I don't think anybody wants a nasty sound like that. Give us a little bit nicer sound um, that's a little bit more friendly, like, hey, get out of my way, instead of, hey, jerk, I'm going to run you over. <laughs> so, anyways, that is the Antusi A6 bicycle tail light uh, and alarm and bell combination. It does come with some instructions here, but um, you don't probably need those after you look at everything that there is online, which I'm sure you already have. So there it is, and thanks for watching. <laughs> Hold on, I'm recording this. There, it's locked. Okay, now let's test the alarm part of it. I, it doesn't, you know, it takes a second, it seems like. You know, there. So it gives you a, a warning when you move it. And then you pick it up again and it goes off. So. It is insanely loud, and it does seem to work. It just gives you a moment after you lock it to get away from it so it doesn't go off. Uh, I like it. Okay, here it is, folks. The bicycle alarm. This is the Antusi A6 bicycle alarm. So we're going to test this. So it's got some buttons here. That looks like an alarm, but it's actually not. The bottom button there, it's a bell. And it is crazy loud. But if you're outside and there's traffic, it, 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 it might be necessary. Um, then there's a button here for the tail light. And it actually, I don't know if you can hear that. It actually beeps while it blinks, so that might get annoying. Um, and then there's another mode. And it just beeps. It's quiet enough, though, that you might not hear it when you're riding. I don't know. It... And one Mississippi, two Mississippi. If you hold down for two seconds, it shuts off. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Yeah, it shuts off. I don't know, I guess you might have to cycle through it to shut it off. One mode, two modes. I think there's three modes. One. Two. Three, I guess there's three. It's a nice little blue LED on here. I don't think I'm going to use the tail light, but I do like the alarm. There's the unlock sound, and I don't think it's coming through on the video how loud that is. It is crazy loud. Um, here's the lock. It's very loud. I mean, you lock this, and people are going to know you just locked your bike. I just touched the table, and it beeped. It gives you a few seconds so it won't go off after you lock it. You don't want to lock it. Oh, yeah, it gives you a warning. You don't want to lock it until you're ready to walk away from the bike. So let's give it a second. Yeah, it's, uh, it's insanely loud. I seriously doubt the phone will pick up how loud that is. I was doing it here in my office, and uh, one of my coworkers came in here screaming at me to turn it off. So it is very, very loud. I don't know if it's 120 decibels, but it seems like it's loud enough. Um, I don't know what it would be like out in a public situation, but the alarm part I like. The bell part is pretty cool. The remote is awesome. The thing looks pretty well made. And... Hey, can you just take it home? Yeah, finishing my review there. So I just got told to take the thing home from the office because people are getting upset by it. Um, 
the uh, anyways it's pretty well made and uh, uh, but the tail light is kind of not usable for me it doesn't have an always on One, one thousand, two, one thousand. So it's fast point, one mode. That's one mode for sure. Second mode, one, one thousand. I don't know if there's really a third mode. Yeah, slightly slower. So there is three modes. This one might be okay, tolerable for riding. I I, that, I think that beeping would just drive me insane. So I don't like that beeping um, in two C. If you could make give me a, ver, a a fourth mode here where it's just always on and there's no beep, that would be a winner for me even if it was a little bit lower brightness uh, whatever you need to do on that would be fine overall I wanted it for the alarm function and that part seems to work pretty well and I also like the bell so I don't have to have a a, a normal bell on my bike so uh, overall like I said good um, probably I'm probably gonna give it five stars just because it's the best thing I've seen on the market but if there was any competition, it would be more of a four-star deal because of that taillight problem only. There it is, the Antusi A6 taillight alarm bell combo.